Hey, this is uh, S. Dave Harrington here. I'm still in Camden, Tennessee. I'm out here at the Tactical Response Range Facility by myself. It means you got to be careful. Um, this vid is in response or support of a dude's request to see the Israeli carry action with the added responsibility of uh, marksmanship and shot placement. I'm working on an Ipsic steel silhouette, 15 yards. The first action, I'm going to mount, acquire, and fire one hit. We'll check the time. I'll unload, clear, set the pistol up with an empty chamber, loaded with an empty chamber, the requirement then becomes draw, chamber, mount, acquire, and fire. One hit. And we'll see uh, what the time difference actually is and what the influence of injecting the requirement, the requirement of chambering a cartridge on your ability to hit and how it affects uh, the amount of time. You know, you know, it's going to take some time because for every action, there's a something like a equal and opposite reaction, right? Can't remember the dude who said that, but uh, let's go to work. Here we go. Uh, I want to make sure, kind of position myself, see if you can see what I need to see in the vid. Okay, that'll work. Here we go. <clears throat> Stand by. Okay. Go ahead, set my pistol up for at the Israeli. Be all right when it quits hurting. Here we go. Time on that action. One, two, five, good high chest center hit. You'll see it when I'm done with the action. We'll check the hits on the target. Here we go. Stand by. Don't get much more center punch than that. Let's check the time. And hope that I didn't uh, slide chatter the clock. Um, no, I'm good. The uh, fully loaded gun action was one, two, five. Um, Israeli carry chamber requirement came in at, uh oh, yeah, came in at one seven. So you're talking a half second, right? which is kind of a ballpark figure. However, let's check the hits and see what the effect is, if any. Here we go. We're just trying to find the target in the dead gum camera. Um, here we go. First round is the high round. I don't know what's going on. Here, let me do something here. I'll uh, see if I can figure this out. All right. Just, you know, it, it boggles my mind that almost at every opportunity, I reinforce the fact that my tech skills suck. But that's it. The first uh, hit is the high center hit. And the Israeli hit is the almost... Never going to get any more better center hit than that one right there. And there you have it. You got to train. You got to practice. But above all else, get it in your head. You're responsible for what happens or fails to happen. If you don't train, practice, and rehearse, take it serious. It's not a game. 
you're going to get tucked in for the dirt nap. And, you know, the fact of the matter is, there ain't no making sense out of combat. You can do the right thing at the right time every time and get tucked in for the dirt nap anyway. So, nobody gets out of life alive. That's how it goes. Out.